a toe. Hot top of dropping knowledge straight from Chicago. And it's our point of view. So tell me what you gon' do. Drop a line, don't be lying, trying to get with the crew. Cause we be talking them facts, exposing them fiction. Man, it's so real that we be causing some friction. Probably something you missing. Ain't no need to be dissing. Just relax here and listen because we spitting and sipping. This thing's a radio show. This thing's a radio show. y'all welcome back to another episode of steezo radio we're gonna get to these intros so we can get this show show i'm sorry going go the end at the table sam nikki hey sanction kurt all right let's just start from where we where i want to start all this talk about the uh nicole murphy and uh what's his name antoine fuca okay antoine fuqua fuqua who I gotta I gotta admit I didn't know who he was. <laughs> I got him confused with the guy. Yeah, he made training day, but I thought he was the one that made uh, Black Panther. I thought that was him. <laughs> like, damn. Oh, I thought he did that too. No, nah, it's another black guy. Oh. See, we, we get him all confused. The other one. Huh? Yeah, I thought it was him though. I felt so embarrassed because <laughs> I was like, damn, Ryan, you just started your career. You was on the right page. You, ain't that so? Ain't she somebody cream? whose husband is she? She I mean, used to is be he? Eddie Murphy's. No, no, no. I know who she is. Oh. Who's, who's Lila her? Roshan. Sunshine oh, from Harlem Sun- Nights. Yeah, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She fell off. <laughs> That's a big bitch. Damn, she couldn't get older and Ain't get she fat. Sick? They she say she got lupus. She look like it. How you look like you got lupus? I seen a lot of people with lupus. They <laughs> get swollen like that. They swell up. Like you swell up. Yeah, you swell up. I think so. Now, now she got a, le- a legitimate excuse for being a big bitch. Not bad at it though. <laughs> she ain't sunshine. She's no gonna more. keep calling her a bitch. Huh? She a solar system. <laughs> And then a big bitch. I yeah. called her a big bitch. That's different. It's not. It is. It's just really not. It's not. It's really, really not. All right, but the whole debate was <laughs> the fact that, you know, Nicole Murphy. She, uh, she be stealing motherfuckers' yeah, husbands be and coming shit. After, it, it seems like she has a history of coming after married men. Now, the first thing she said was <clears throat> when they caught him kissing or whatever, they, she said it was just a friendly kiss between friends. Fuck. Right. Nobody was going for that. I'm not kissing, Sam. No, no, we friends and all, but not no sub. <laughs> then she finally just admitted, like, yeah. But you ain't Nicole Murphy either, though. <laughs> you are not completion. Nicole Murphy, so. mm. Mm. Then she came out and was like, boom. <laughs> yeah, we not, you know, you know, wasn't a friendly kiss. I'm sorry for what I did. And she's claiming that she didn't know he was married. <laughs> That's his They've been married forever. Yeah, I think like 20, 23 years. Yeah, they've been married for a very long time. Yeah. So that's why I kind of was like, And okay, she's supposed this is to be a family bullshit. friend. Yeah, they not, but now they're claiming like maybe that ain't true. But I don't know. They was at some kind of resort or something, right? Yeah, dude had his, now, now his they, clothes they off. She Italy. had her now, clothes off. my thing. Was they on a like, the, vacation Italy. together? No, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, you know, when I see shit like that, I kind of just try to put my put myself into the mindset of the guy. If I'm married and I'm with a with another chick, mm-hmm. I kind of want to stay out the public eye. <laughs> so my thing is, they 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 were they were caught doing this, and I think they took a picture too, right? Like legitly took a picture. Well, right? I didn't see any pictures they posed. All for. I seen was the kiss. Yeah, oh. I just I just seen the one that they kind of just like I guess somebody snuck into. Them. Oh, maybe it was yeah. an old picture of them or something mm. or something like that. Yeah. But my thing is, you kind of want to hide from that shit, especially in the social media world. So, for you to do that, and I mean, if if motherfuckers don't know who you are, they know who Nicole Murphy is. So you got TMZ, mm-hmm. you got all these people there, mm-hmm. or if possible to see you or whatnot. Mm-hmm. I would think that. You know, you wouldn't want to do it in public. So, I kind of want to say, you think it's a chance that him and Lila Rashawn actually were separated? In a set, or taking a break? I mean, technically, they're still married. <coughs> because to do that in public, you like, I mean, you, what's the mindset of you saying, hey, kiss me just like that? 
you know, knowing that you in Italy, paparazzi. Are we? I'm. I'm mean that calculated. Like, I'm thinking that maybe. Be calculated for I'm that. saying, but maybe, maybe he wanted to get caught. Maybe he did so that it, shit it, to get like caught that. so that right. it could be some ripples. His name could be out here. Maybe he don't want Lily Rashawn no more. It has been a long time. Or something like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Maybe he's like, man, if I'm going to get caught with it, but I'm going to get caught with this bag. Or maybe they, like I said, look, maybe we need a break. You do your thing, I do my thing. And now, you know, some soon somebody take a picture, oh, she cheated or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand. Like, if you seen, like, if you, if you can show me a video of him going into... Room 112, and then five minutes you seen her going into room 112. I get it. Mm-hmm. But these motherfuckers, if I'm not mistaken, they just public as fuck. out in public mm-hmm. doing that. It kind of makes you think, like, fam, why, did, why would you pull that one? Because, like I said, even if they don't know you, they know her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they know her, yeah. Now they know him. Cause even she's like a reality. She <laughs> Steezo like knows reality him now. Stars or whatever. She was, she had a reality. She was on a reality show some years ago, but it didn't. It didn't oh, okay. Okay. Nobody gave a fuck. But I mean, somebody. <clears throat> fought. You would think somebody gonna say that's Nicole and pull out a camera. She in, in is. The days of, in the day of social media, it could just be a mo- regular motherfucker to do it. True. That's true. That's just how I look at it. I'm like, is it? Is there are there really women out here that just prey on married men? I would say yeah. I mean. I ain't, I ain't never been married. I don't know. Yeah, um, I would think so. Maybe easier. You know, they may. You know that nigga go home. He ain't yeah, gonna I be mean, calling you probably, all day I, long. I, I look at it like that. I think probably they prey on him for that aspect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, she ain't got to really. She, she can get all the all the strengths and none of the weaknesses. Right. Right. She ain't got to cook this nigga no dinner, yeah, no breakfast. Sense, yeah. Suck yeah. his dick on his birthday, shit like go, that. You gotta go home <laughs> <laughs> to completion. <laughs> Hopefully on your birthday. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I think so. Now, of course, um, what's her name? Leah? Leela. Leela has not said anything. Right. Uh, Do you really give Antoine a shit about what she said? has not said anything. Because what's the possibility of them saying? We were separated, we were really but. separated. Yeah. You know, yeah. You don't, you don't, you're, still, you're still married. You just kind of like, look, let's take a break. Mm-hmm. It's Hollywood, too. What if they just got an open relationship like that? I was it thinking be. that, too. It could be. Hmm. That's but, probably why they ain't said nothing. Maybe they don't really want to be out here saying I got an open relationship. This shit could just actually the way social media work these days. I get that shit a week or two. That shit will fade to black. Ain't nobody gonna give a fuck. No, they probably sitting back there, kind of like, damn man, right? We just didn't take it to the room. <laughs> fuck. Now we gotta explain this shit. Hey, yeah. at least she, at least she say, you got you out here fucking around with these ugly bitches. That nigga won, bro. <laughs> she bad. She look like a man a little bit in the face. I said it. But yeah, other than that, I don't. I mean, she she okay. I didn't see the whole. The body thing is nice though. Yeah. She's a petite. It's like she's nice for her age, I guess. She about oh, what? Is she? she about she damn near like sixty. 60s. Yeah. She she she, she huh? Eddie Murphy creeping up on sixty. Yeah. So I gave her that. Like she's nice for her age. Cause I first heard about her because of Shannon Sharp. You know, he had his right. whole had fixation on her. Right. He, and then what's his name was fucking with her. Uh, Straight hand. Straight hand was fucking with her. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That's yeah. how I really got hip yeah. to the fact that she was still her. around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't really know until like you said, Shannon Sharp. Yeah, Straight yeah, hand. That's when I kind of Straight hand was in love, love Joe. You know yeah. what I mean? So. so yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I just, I just thought it was funny because she's the only one talking. She's the only one that keeps putting out statements. She I mean, might have just. She's trying she, to make herself look good. She might have stole that shit. <clears throat> stole we what? don't know what happened before the picture. You know, a lot of times these pictures, you never know what happened before and after. She might have stole that kiss. She probably told him motherfucker with a camera. Hey, oh no, it was a couple kisses. Hey, watch this. So once that yeah. motherfucker kissed me, I'm gonna let her kiss me again. What you mean? She might have took that first one, but that second and third one, I'm taking. You know I'm what I'm saying? saying? The average don't nigga don't worry don't, about that. The average nigga don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but I think <laughs> she's talking a lot. Because she's trying to cover her image. Because she's the one that's looked at as... The whore? Yeah, she's the, the home record, the whore. The, she's every negative thing right now. Yeah, I heard Lisa Ray came out, and Lisa Ray is saying that she did the same thing with her husband. Yeah, I saw that too. You know? <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but I just thought it was funny because it make you think like, man, you, you, you kind of get a name for yourself there, Nicole. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She been had that name, though. She knows she a hoe. I never heard of her she in any her. form of fashion, though. She knows she From hoeing. I just, like, even, even when she was with Eddie Murphy, I didn't even know. I, I mean, I knew he had a wife. Right. But he kind of private. I didn't know how many kids they had. I've never seen his children. Well, she was a model. He said his girl liked to party all the time. But I've never seen her. I mean, think about it. He liked men, too. That's why she looked like that in the face. You know what? 
<laughs> just I'm gonna, just saying. Just gonna slam. She got in. a nice body though. She fine on the body said, side. I just didn't. Face strong. I just didn't understand why would you <laughs> allow that in public? I mean, niggas won't even hold a chick hand <laughs> in Walmart. It probably they felt safe too though. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. in Italy. That's probably I mean, that's her. Yeah, no, you don't probably feel felt safe. safe. Like they probably did the whole dummy you know, yeah. uh, book the room on the Antoine Jameson. <laughs> you know, they'll never know. You know what I'm saying? Did some dumb shit like that. Use aliases. If they was in uh, Italy, though, I mean, like I said, they are the social media. This is so they are the social media. But you know, people you still do stupid stuff and don't think about it. Yeah. Nah. That, that's yeah. Just, think about all the stuff that's posted. Like people post fights and put the you know, and then wondering why right, the police you, knocking them on their doors right, and but stuff. But you won't, but. You think the the average motherfucker that's cheating gonna post him and his side chick? Look, these celebrities be thinking that these celebrities be thinking they can buy themselves out of that shit. A friend of mine uh, uh, had a, a relative. He was all on social media with his new woman, and his wife saw it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and I've heard he that cared a lot about his wife. He, he cared. Well, he cared enough to because he didn't want to. He he wasn't ready to break up. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's what I say. It's just people just don't think like that. No, and then sometimes, I think sometimes they need a way out. Like they that. use that shit to their benefit. That's not really thinking like that. <laughs> when I say don't think, they just don't think. Like they just be doing. Yeah. I agree And then, though. you know, oh, and there's another thing. When you older people still kind of... They, they don't believe in the power so, of social media. Yeah, like mm-hmm. they, they'll say it, mm-hmm. but they don't really... Flip. They don't get it. Yeah. They don't understand they really the power. Don't. But that yeah, would be they only the power. people who aren't famous. I would think old famous motherfuckers get it. I don't think... No, because so. they have somebody to take care of that for them. Yeah. They, right, there are they, people a, that A lot take of them don't care, even they, run their pages. Right. They have, they have people that take, you know... Yeah. Take care of their page. Just like um, I was watching... um, What's the show that confuses me? Catfish, because mm-hmm. it confuses me how the people keep getting catfish. Um, Rich Dollars, you know, he's a manager, you know, he's in the music. His nephew was catfishing a chick, and she's the whole time thinking she's talking to Rich Dollars, and Rich Dollars is falling <laughs> in love with her. <laughs> the whole time it's the nephew because he's running his social media. Wow. Yeah, they got agencies not that will run your social media page. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that's not true. I'm just saying that someone famous, even older people, don't. You saying they wouldn't understand the power of social media to that degree where they saying, "I don't want nobody to see us." They just if they're, figured if they're celebrities. They just yeah. figured they in a different country. Who that's really, even more shit. I mean, yeah, but that, but see, it's almost <laughs> that's like tour is at. It's fuck? almost like well, I know my wife don't hang out on Forty Seventh Street, so I'm gonna take her down here on Forty Seventh Street. And who you running to? Your wife on Forty Seventh Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about it too. I mean, they in Italy. Maybe he's not known over there. Maybe she's not known over there. That's what they thinking. You yeah, know, because Nicole ain't worked in forever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so they probably she's thinking still, like, but she's still a fashion if icon. Not though. Italy. You can't Nicole Murphy can't hide in Italy. That's what I'm saying. But, but how is she a fashion icon? At least her. I, like, she's not, a model. Like people still fuck, bro. You go on her page. Who knows how long? She has social media. You go on her page, bro. I did. I, I, was, on, I was on her page. I, I, I am see, a friend of uh, on her. I yeah, fucking I follow her, and all it's every fucking day she is modeling something new. Like women follow her on Instagram. Like her she outfits ain't got that and many shit. Followers. Shh, they, she don't need that many. She put more, more, them little no, motherfuckers that's there. No, but, and this is the I'm power saying, of social media. But what I'm saying is, if, sharing, if your followers ain't even up there, I don't even think you're sharing her at, pictures. They, she don't need nah, followers. Dude, she like she's under fifty thousand. Hey, that, that's enough. It's you know more what I'm saying? We got. Okay, let me put it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right, but we ain't worried about getting caught in Italy though. That's what I'm saying. I wish I could be worried about getting caught in Italy right now. They never mentioned who. Took the picture, right? Like mm-hmm. it wasn't a yeah, it or wasn't or no no pops Rossi type shit. I they never even reported who took the picture. Yeah, they just but they was close than a motherfucker. Yeah. Enough to zoom in and get like real faces, real time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Lip lip lock and all that. And if all we know, they probably had a little villa rented out, thinking you know we just gonna stay right here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, there you go, photo mm-hmm. leaked. Now what I didn't like, and I don't care what women say, I've seen y'all. Trying to take up for Nicole, saying, "Well, he lied about being married." Y'all taking up for Nicole, and now Fakwa is the bad guy because he out here cheating on his sick wife. <sighs> Me personally, I get what y'all are saying, but I don't like that. No, I don't like the fact. It I, I, I really don't. Right, both of these motherfuckers should be getting torched on social media. Tango. 
And it seemed like her shit is kind of dying down, you know, because she came out saying sorry. And because he ain't said nothing, it's like, oh, there you go, there you go, these men, you know. And then you had the whole debate about, well, his wife is getting fat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have men throwing shade at that, like his wife is fat. She is getting fat, though. And but that picture, oh. What picture? That picture of her being, she's been in size Shit. for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been yeah. in size for years. So, yeah. so it's kind of like they saying, you know, they, they 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 brought up a point of, you know, because I I had I I even asked a question in the group, like do do you have a type, like a physical type? A lot of times I notice though, and it's funny. A lot of my guys they have a type. Because, you know, you go out with your bands and them. Y'all mm. kick it. You see what they like, what they point out and shit. Mm. They not married to that. Ah, I hear you. And that's what I was getting to. Because I feel like if you got a physical type and that person can't keep that type up, does that kind of, you know what I'm saying, draw you, know, you away? You know who it, I does that is that a contract, a breach of contract? Like, I married you like this. I want you to stay like this. And if you avert from this here situation, I'm going to need to get rid of you. Because, I mean, she... Put on a lot. I'm not she, saying she put on like 20 pounds. She is not you know, sunshine no more. Yeah. But you know nah. who I heard? The first person I ever heard say something like that. Like, you know, if you like a woman with a big butt, marry a woman with a big butt. Or, you mm-hmm. know, you like a dude with a big chest, marry a dude with a big chest. The Minister Louis Farrakhan. Yeah. He was the first person I ever heard say that. He said, if you like it, that's what I suggest <laughs> you to marry it. Yeah, makes sense. Keeps I always it, thought it made sense. I've always understood that the men that do marry what they like, they really stay with that woman. If she is what he likes, she will st- he will stay faithfully. Like, he will take all her shit. He will buy her whatever the fuck. He works overtime to make sure she's happy. If you get what you like when you get married, you'll stay with that. Now, if she change up, ain't no telling what's going to happen. And I'm not trying to make it seem like every guy who girl put on weight, they should just leave. Or every girl who got put away, they should just leave. I'm just really saying that if he did have a type like this, you know what I'm saying, and he been looking out in these streets, it was probably a matter of time before he creeped off. You know what I'm saying? If, because I, I don't believe this is the first time. Oh, no. Just me personally. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, no. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. That's why he got caught. He got comfortable. And, and I was just going to say that. Like, no, that, no, no. That no, comfort no, level no, was there no, on this shit. No, no, no. This has to be the first time. Why wow. you say that? Because you don't cheat numerous of times and then get caught with doing this shit. You know, like you said, don't be that dumb to not know that paparazzi could be around. That's some first time shit. I don't think so. Uh-uh. I don't think so. Because, I mean, a lot of times when we, when we doing bogus shit, we think our shit don't stink, so we don't even take those precautions but like he we used been, to no But more. he would have been caught beforehand. That's what I'm saying. If well, he probably he was, but it wasn't social media wise. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't think it's the first time. If if, he, if he's doing it because of her gaining weight, is what I'm saying. Uh, if his type was sunshine from back in the day, I mean, she ain't been that size in a long ass time. So if he really, like they were saying, you know, if your wife get big, you know what what you expect. If that's really his defense, <laughs> then he been cheating big. for a minute. If you know your what I'm saying? Wife get big, what do you expect? <laughs> that's fine. Because, you know, they was really going in. Like, the guys were saying, like, man, what y'all expect him to do? Look at her now. And they was bringing up all them bogus pictures of her. That ain't really, worth, that ain't but, really a reason. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not. I agree. Because really that's not. I mean, now, I have heard certain people have had, like, contracts about that. Like, you know, hmm. they've had contracts about so far as their look. Like, there's, I've heard oh, certain like people. Oh, and shit. So, well, yeah, like, but it's like you have to stay small. You have to yeah. stay in shape. You know, I've heard of. Those couples, but they mm-hmm. they put that out there. That's kind of like their thing. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, you don't go into a marriage <laughs> and say, especially if this is not something that you all discussed from jump. Oh well, she gained weight, so it's okay for me to cheat, or he gained weight, it's okay for me to cheat. That's not. No. You you. But so you know you know I I came up with something like this. Like I'm fine of. Uh, you know, hair. I'm real big on hair, having your hair done and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what I realize is, me, when I, if I'm dating somebody, I don't need to date someone who get their hair done for me. I need to date someone who, in their own, they like looking a specific way for themselves when it comes to their hair. Because if it's their hair, they're not doing it for me. They're doing it for them. 
Like basically, if you like your, if you, you get your hair cut all the time, right? Right. Your your lady is never gonna come to you and say, "Damn, you need a haircut," because you always keep your hair cut, and it's really for you. Mm -hmm. if, a, if you meet a woman who always like, I just gotta have my hair done, you'll never run into that issue. But if you run into, you'll run into that issue with a woman who's getting her hair done for you. Oh, because you, you a, like getting because hair done. you like it, and it's not really anything that. Not saying she doesn't like it, but it's not her. Yeah, it's not. So if you find a woman who's saying, "No, I just always got to be fit," and she, I mean, she liked the fact that you like it, but she likes to look a certain way, mm -hmm. you would never have an issue. So you actually got to find a motherfucker who themselves say, "No, I, I hit the gym." Yeah, you, but it, but in their case, even if they did do that, she ran into this illness. Well, I'm outside the, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, but I get what you're saying though. But yeah, she ran into this so illness. I always, I always thought that that's probably the best thing to do. You need to find a motherfucker who like doing. Who, who like doing what you like, but they really do it for themselves. Where it come natural for them to do yep. it. Yeah. I mean, shit, 20 years together, a motherfucker gonna gain weight. Motherfucker gonna get tired of their ass, too. But yeah, I, yeah. it's gonna happen. <laughs> but I always said this, though, for, for my own thing. you People gain weight, you know, throughout the years, and that's true. The question is, are you trying to lose it? It's one thing to gain weight, and you hit the gym, and you like, damn, it just keep coming. It's another thing to gain weight. And you, and you not just sitting in the bed. Be comfortable with that weed. shit. Totally right, buttering some bread in the yeah, bed and shit. Like I just like a, I just like Italian right. loaf. <laughs> like, like you can actually understand if you saw your man or your lady going to LA Fitness every other day and not day, losing weight. Not losing You're like, you're, like you're trying though. She trying though. Right. Yeah. You just like, hey, it is what it is. But a motherfucker that's literally just sitting there talking about, I need to lose weight, and you like, she ain't doing nothing about it, or he not doing nothing about it. That's something totally different. Now, the first question that came to mind, though, when I finally figured out who he was, because I'm like, oh, then he married to her. Like, dude, why she ain't been in none of your movies? Like, is she still trying to be a part of that world? Because I ain't seen Sunshine and shit since Boomerang. But she could be sick. If she's oh, sick. Yeah. She, she, she can really she be on a, set. She has a, she has, she had an image. Mm-hmm. And it was. Yeah, but Jack slim. A had an image, and you, I mean, she, you know, you, you grow I mean, with some, the times. Some do it, but you know. When the last time you seen? Don't. Oh, Jack A. Okay. Yeah. You know, but I'm, I'm just saying, it just made me wonder, like, because they've been married 23 years, so you know he started doing movies a long time ago. So it's like she ain't she. Ain't, I ain't gonna you lie. The first time I heard of him, if I'm not mistaken, was Inside Man. Or, <laughs> Because he did that, or maybe Training Day, whichever one came. Yeah, the first time I came up, came up on was was Training she was Day. Pretty much. I think she was sick at that point in time. But I'm you just know, saying, that was the first time we heard him, but that wasn't his first movie. Right, but I think at that point in time, I think I had already saw a picture of her game. I mean, but shit, Michael J. Fox out there shaking with his disease, and he still kind of, kind of stabilizes and does, you know, what he loves to do as far as acting. I mean, I'm not saying she got to get the leading role, but she can't walk across the screen. And but you know she can't be it, it, waitress she, number she could, two. But you know something? It this is be, Michael J. Fox you're talking yeah, about, though. That's also, Apples and Oranges, yeah. nigga. And she could. <laughs> fucking and, Apples and Oranges. And she could. It, it may be hard for her to look, herself, look at herself on camera. That's what I was saying. I was wondering. Opposed to what she used to look like. It should also be hard for her to look at her bank account and be not where it used to be. Like, That's she here, fucking she work. Yeah, but he out here kissing the cold Murphys and shit if though. She's still in this Hollywood. So is she gonna right leave now? him and be broke? Uh, you know, it, it could yeah, be. Who, 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 who paid the bill, bill right? As long as the motherfucker bill get paid. It could be her sickness, and then they might just be one of those couples like we're not gonna work together. Mm -hmm. But he ain't got no friends to get a job for him. Maybe she don't need no job. I mean, even slashed alone for this Russian uh, wife in the movie. I mean, shit. I'm, 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 even I'm, after they fucking divorced, right. he put the bitch <laughs> back in a movie, bro. It's like, damn. Like, that's crazy. You can't put her out there? Now, it was said in the group, and I was thinking this, but I didn't want to say it because I, y'all you know, know how I own my conspiracy theories. But I was just wondering if Nicole Murphy got with him because Eddie Murphy got with her. Uh, <laughs> Sunshine, because I was one of the people that thought Eddie Murphy fucked Sunshine back oh, in the day. Boomerang. Ooh. Yeah, I'm like, huh? Cause no, I'm like, no, no, Harlem Nights. No, she's well, a she boomerang, was too. boomerang too. Was she? Yeah, she, she had the fucked up feet. The fucked up feet. Oh yeah. Gold star for Marcus. Oh yeah. yeah. I always wondered, like, she got that job kind of easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. how you know she got it easy? Cause I'm just, I'm just being me. You know what <laughs> right, I'm saying? Like, like, oh. But you know, it was, it wasn't back then. That black, you know, the black excellence wasn't very. Popular. It wasn't a bunch of black actors and actresses that would get together to click and make movies. So they, you notice it was a bunch of people that would be in different movies together all the time. 
So he was like, oh, we worked together before. We know we right. know what you're worth. Let's just stick you in Boomerang, too. Because I think you know that, was, that, was, that was his first movie after Harlem Nights was Boomerang. Mm. I'm not too sure. Mm. I just know, I just know mm. what they went. I think Boomerang was first. No. No. It wasn't? No, no. Okay. Boomerang was in the 90s. Harlem Nights was late 80s. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But I was just really wondering, like, hmm, look at that. Mm. Got her another job. Huh? Hmm. Hey, so, so, that. so, oh, damn. have you seen, um, <laughs> have you seen this, uh, Netflix show that Jerry Seinfeld got? Yeah, I, I love that show. I fucking love right, it. With the I know it's a new season. Comedian, it's three seasons. Yeah, I didn't know the new one. Comedians came out. in cars getting, getting coffee. coffee. Now, he yeah. interviewed Eddie Murphy. Mm hmm. And Eddie Murphy told some stories about some shit you would never have thought about. Like, he say, when he first started comedy, Richard Pryor and Bill Cosby ain't fuck with him. Because they was like, back then, it wasn't too many popular black comedians. So, like, he, about, uh, he was the next in line, and they was treating him like, oh, you the new guy. You know what I'm saying? You the motherfucker that's about to take my shot, you know? Yeah, he said that before about Richard Pryor. Bill Cosby, too. They said Bill Cosby was running black comedy like he was the boss. Yeah. He was around yeah, telling motherfuckers what type of jokes they could tell and all type. I'm like, damn. But you you, you seen that with Eddie Murphy? Mm -hmm. All right. Did you notice how Seinfeld was talking about Bill Cosby like he was dead? Well, shit. He was, yeah. I, <laughs> you think about I, I, that. He was talking about he used to. He and he was like that. That's how we did. Yeah, he was talking yeah. about like, oh, yeah, that motherfucker's never getting out of jail. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he might as well be dead this. right now he if you did. think about it. He he was. I was like, yeah, I just kept listening to the shit like that. That's just, that's bogus as fuck. Like, dude, he ain't dead. You know what I'm saying? just in jail. <laughs> like, but, but I, I guess. I, that, that episode I got from, you know, Eddie Murphy, I can tell he's nervous. About doing stand up again. Yeah. Oh yeah. This yeah. whole Netflix thing. Yeah. Like, Cause you know but what? He, so did he but even before started, the Netflix, did he thing. actually get the deal? Nah. Nah. He didn't. Oh, but he yeah. was talking about not the Netflix deal. He was just talking about doing stand up. Stand up. up period. And he for the first time ever, I heard him say, "Yeah, I, I want to do it again." You get what I'm saying? Uh, but Eddie Murphy saying ain't been funny in a while though. The, you know, he doesn't have a a following. No. The, he ain't got uh, jokes. Yeah. He don't have the jokes. He got to go back out there to those comedy clubs yeah. to work on routines. Mm -hmm. And he knows it's a new world now. He ain't been funny well, in a long that, time, bro. You know bro. what I'm saying? Because like, we're going to film your shit. And the Joker Disney movies killed there. Eddie Murphy. You think so? Hell yeah. What Disney movies? Motherfucker. Oh, like Nutty Pluto Professor Nash. and uh, uh, the, uh, what the fuck was the Pluto, Pluto Nash. Nash. What's the other movie with the, when well, he was. The was funny. No, what was he it? was actually mm. funny and in the movie just sucked. What was the yeah. movie that he had where he was an android or some shit? And it was a the bunch Dave. of. Yeah, Dave. That shit was whack. No, that Norbert movie. shit, y'all can laugh at that all you want to. That shit was garbage. No, the movie. Shit, I the, love that the movie. movie the the movie. funniest motherfucker in there was his role as Rasputia. That shit was hilarious. The movie. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's AD being funny, though. It yeah. is. But he got to dress up like a fat bitch, though, to do that shit. <laughs> like I said, fat <laughs> bitch movie. again. <laughs> he was funny as Norbert. Yeah. He was. I didn't think nah. nah. I didn't did. think any of nah. the movies was funny. I mean, he, he himself was funny in them. They make them cult classics though. I'm not, I'm not going back watching Norbert seventeen times like Friday or some shit like that. Like that's not black comedy. That shit was like it seemed like he was reaching. But it was all that Disney shit. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like that Nutty Professor shit that went on way too many, way too long. It was two of them. That Doctor Doolittle <laughs> right. shit. It was, that yeah, shit went on way too long. It went too long. Just two. It, it shouldn't two. have been two. <laughs> That's oh, just me, bro. I, I, I like, like the hard professor one, yeah. one and two. I like nah, the, those. Those, those was funny. The, the, the brother he played was hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the brother and the, the kids. Daddy the too. kids the was daddy. hilarious, bro. <laughs> the kids was funny as hell. The daddy was young. Right. That shit at the table farting and shit. Right. That that, that and shit the was mama, funny. She was just always proud. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stripper man, stripper man. Grandma was funny too. Right. So I can't he, say that. I can't say that. But I don't think he got that same. You know, the type of shit that Netflix is paying for right now, like the Dave Chappelle type shit. You see Mike Epps' new shit? Yeah, that's that was, shit's that pretty funny. fucking funny. I don't think Eddie got that no more. I'm like, if you go back, don't. bro, if you go back and you watch Delirious, I'm going to say this shit, y'all going to be mad. But you go back and you watch don't Delirious. Don't say anything, I'm going to be mad. Don't you say go it. back and you watch Delirious or Raw, you have to admit one or two things. When you watch that shit in the first place, you were sneaking. You was a kid. You, of course you thought that shit was funny. This no, is this I, I is this was out of your fucking. You were completely out of your wheelhouse. You did not know That's nothing true. about these jokes he was talking about. You was a kid and you was snuck the fuck to watch that shit. It was funny to you because you was not supposed to be watching it. No, but that's what I'm saying. I didn't like. Now I, as an I saw, adult, I, I watch saw it again. After I saw Raw, but after after I watch it again as an adult, I'm like, yeah, that shit was funny. That was classic Eddie Murphy, and it kind of it, it only was funny because you watch all the rest of his movies and you like you know like Harlem Nights and Boomerang and shit. He wasn't even funny in Boomerang. Think about that. That wasn't a comedy. That was never. 
the foot thing was just a part of the whole dating scenario. Boomerang but wasn't funny to you? No. Was well, you don't funny. like Eddie Murphy. Yeah, yeah. No, funny. I do like no. Eddie Murphy. Boomerang was fucking funny. No, but I'm just you, saying. You have listed all the movies that he's made and said it, was, it wasn't funny. It was. Uh, Boomerang was fucking funny. What I'm saying is there was a transition. There was a transition from no, Eddie Murphy. That shit was fucking funny. Well, there was a transition from Eddie Murphy becoming a black icon as a comedian to just making fucking comedy. That's it. But Boomerang wasn't meant just to be all out funny. Yeah, that's, I think that's but that's why I'm saying it was. wasn't a comedy. It was more like a. a it was a comedy. I, I don't know. That was a. Man, are you serious? I it's, really it, don't think it, so, it, bro. It was, Tell me one thing it, that it, was it, funny it, other it, than Strange you know, and the pussy, 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 pussy. Why you go there, man? You know why what, you go there? But that, you, I would have fucked him up. He'd make a right shit. It was a. It was a funnier version of Love and Basketball. No, no. no, I'm saying, the, I'm saying, no. the story. I'm not saying, it's, it's, I'm saying it's like the a romantic story. comedy. It's a romantic comedy, but it was a comedy though that was funny. But it wasn't like he said. I don't think it was. That as shit funny. was funny. I mean, I'm not saying it wasn't that funny was parts funny. in it. No, that shit was but funny. I don't, I don't it was think. more romantic than it That's was. That's what I'm comedy. saying. That, that was, shit was funny. He fell in love, like even the Harlem Nights. The, that shit was no, 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 no. drenched hey, in comedy, hey, bro. Now, now no, I'm just saying, no, that shit was drenched oh, in comedy. Oh, oh, you yeah. cannot we put was, was fucking Eddie. You, yeah, you yeah. can't put Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, Red Fox, and none of the rest of them motherfuckers yeah. in the movie yeah. and think it's not going to be. Eddie. Motherfucking Della Reese, yeah. you can't do that. Yeah. It's not possible. But, but when you look at Eddie Murphy movies, like Life and with, with Martin Lawrence, like that was taking the old and the new and putting it together. Because at that time, Martin was like the man. You know what I'm saying? He could basically take Eddie's spot right then and there. Oh, hell no. No, we no, couldn't that, even no, 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 function right, on the right. set because right. Eddie was so funny. No, 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 no. That so Martin Eddie, so, even... so in life, so no. you think in life that Eddie Murphy was funnier than Martin Lawrence? They show you the tapes no, where act, Martin. He actually, he actually was funnier, but that wasn't the year. That's when Martin was going through all that shit. Yeah, Martin was. He wasn't. He wasn't about to take. Off. So that was Martin's off, comeback movie. No, that's yeah. when he started. That was his hold on movie. No, that's when he was jogging and he passed out. Oh, he did yeah, pass down. It was like he was high and all that type of shit. That was all that. That was all that. He couldn't take Eddie's spot on that time. But you got to think that if you really look at it, that might be Eddie Murphy's last real funny movie. Yeah, he was funny as fuck in that. He was funny that might have been right. That have been that. It was his peak. Everything else after that after, was questionable as fuck. I think after that was the Disney shit. Like what was the movie Disney. when he was a nanny or some shit or uh, fucking? No, Dr. no, 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 no. He had a serious movie. It was like Mister Something. Yeah, when he was a cook. Yeah, was it was cook. like Mister Something, uh-huh. but it was not a comedy. It was a drama. Right. Like that, a, that, that uh, wasn't a comedy. Yeah, that shit was. That but was after that. He was pretty much um, dead. I know. It was, it, was, <laughs> it was the whole Disney thing. Yeah. So yeah. after, after Dr. Yeah, Doolittle and I think the after life. I think it was before that. It was funny and fucking No, I think this Mr. Whoever the fuck, Mr. Wash, it was something. But whoever like the fuck it was, was, that was after all the Disney shit. Yeah, that was after Disney That was after Disney Dave shit. and all that shit. After Norbert, all that. You know. But this was like his first real movie where he was trying to be an actor. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't no jokes. This shit was kind of serious. So. And he died after that. I feel like Eddie Murphy as an actor and a comedian was dead after that. I don't want to see him on Netflix. Else really after that. That's what I'm talking about. He died. He nah. killed himself. But uh, but but, nah, nah. but the same. Come on, man. But the same. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah, and he was funny in the Shreks. But this yeah, but this was, was the thing, though. I, now, I forgot about that. The voiceover shit that he, Eddie Murphy does, it's fucking hilarious. When he was the donkey in Shrek, that nigga was mm-hmm. hilarious. But, I cannot lie about it. But that. Netflix just look at it like this. You can say he ain't fun. You gonna look at it? Hell yeah! Hell it. yeah! That's all. I'm give, still gonna pay my twelve ninety nine a month. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. I'm watching it. It is. They gonna thing. put it in your and face. I said it was Mr. Church. The movie. Mr. Yeah. Church. And here's the thing: if he does another one, you're gonna give him a second chance. Hell yeah! It's Eddie Murphy. I don't give a fuck. I looked. I looked yeah. forward when they said, "Man, Dave Chappelle signed up for a fifty million dollar deal with Netflix." I remember Dave Chappelle being funny. Now I'm skeptical about Eddie Murphy. They said, "Oh, Eddie Murphy getting seventy million for fucking Netflix." I'm thinking. It. I'm thinking to myself. First thing I'm thinking is they reaching. Nobody wants to see Eddie Murphy in concert. Are you serious? You don't Number like two Eddie. is comedians want to see Eddie Murphy in in concert. Just based off name, that cr- so that so so, so look. I think a comedian and they talked about this shit. Yeah, they want you want to see a familiar face in the show. And on, when you're doing stand up, a comedian wants to see a familiar face in the audience so that they know that they flopped. Think about what I he mean, said. I mean, regardless of your yeah. ticket, you still bought the ticket. Yeah, they, they, That's they, the they whole still, point. Yeah, it's a wrap. You already got so, paid. So you got to look at it from Netflix, kind of like, I don't give a fuck if you like it or not. Yeah, see, Netflix winning. See, regardless. I never realized, she I got a point. Fuck. I never realized maybe I am not an Eddie Murphy fan. I don't think you no, are. You're not. I don't think you are. I fucked with Richard cool. Pryor a long Which way, cool. but I don't think Eddie Murphy. 
I really think Charlie Murphy might have been funny than Eddie Murphy. Don't go that far. Man, you got to stop. Don't go that far. I really do, stop, man. Because he wrote shit for other people that was funny. He was a writer. Like, how many times <laughs> Eddie Murphy didn't wrote some shit for other people that was funny? You'd be surprised. I know, but I, I'm just saying, how many times? That like was... Charlie said it himself, that they used to go, what do they call them, snaps? That's what they was calling mm-hmm. them? Yeah, snapping and back he, and forth. Yeah, and he said that Eddie would get him every time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, All Eddie right. Murphy, good, good right. point, good point, Lucky. He's a fucking living legend. I, I dig that, but... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that legendary word. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's what I'm saying, but the, is he the same? We don't know if he's the same on stand-up, but I'm just saying. His work, his proof of work has definitely fell off. No, we talking uh-uh. about stand-up. Yeah. He, he hasn't specials. done any stand up in but a very long time. Yeah, he, he just ain't did it in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah. He Nigga, be... I'm funnier than Monique. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, no, on a sober no, day. No, Fuck no, out of here. No, Monique no, ain't no. funny, nigga. Monique is funny. Never. She, she only funny because she, she a fat. She's funny because she fat. That's it. No, Monique is funny. She's just like motherfucking Tommy Boy. What's his name? Chris Chris Farley. He was only funny because he was fat. That was it. He was thing real with animated. Fat yeah. women. He was real animated. Like, and you, you really. I just could, said Chris Farley was fat. But I'm just saying, you really be hitting on them fat women too. Talk about because she's fat and she's fat. Well, no. And Lila well, was well. fat and Monique is fat. Well, no, and, Monique. Monique. Yeah, I got you, you got some skinny. That. You got Monique. some skinny comedians. Good. Some skinny female comedians. Yeah. Who? Melanie Camacho. Who? Melanie Camacho. Who the fuck is that? You don't know Camacho? No. Do you follow stand up scenes though? Right. I, I, I <laughs> like, actually like no, no, stand up comedians. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, love, yeah, yeah, love stand up. I, I okay. So here it is. I would have too many funny ass females We're that I like. Subject, but go ahead. So like Wanda <laughs> Sykes is kinda funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she kinda, 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 yeah, kinda she funny. Kinda funny. Her last yeah. special had me cracking kinda the funny. fuck up. And that's Ellen, the special Ellen is did. fucking hilarious to me. Mm-hmm. All right. Y'all gotta watch this uh, Asian chick. I can't remember her name. I think it's Wendy Wendy Lou or Wendy Lee or Wendy. Ali Chong. Chong. Have you seen her? I've been trying to put motherfuckers on her for years. So, She's fucking funny. So I might have to check that out. But I got she another got motherfucker named Joe Coy on Netflix. That punk is hilarious. I tried to watch it. Filipino? Didn't really do it. That bro. punk is hilarious, bro. Didn't really do it. Hey, Joe Coy, and her, and when he was in Honolulu, and he was talking about sleep, <laughs> I sleep, I sleep. That shit was funny, bro. Like, come on. He was hilarious. But yeah, I, I love stand up. I just think Eddie going to have a hard time. Because he can't do like he used to do in the old days. You can't just hit the clubs and, and work on your material because motherfuckers record your shit now. Yeah. So it's like. So they're going to they gonna tell all the jokes right, before he get there. they're going to tell all your fucking jokes before your special. Mm-hmm. So he's he, he going to have a hard time trying to put a special together. I feel. But unless, I think if unless anybody. He is Eddie Murphy, though. He with, can with all this time drop off, your phone in the bucket. can do it. <laughs> but I'm talking about the. Um, the, the, the little stand up. That's what I'm saying. Drop your phone in the bucket. You cannot have your phone in this motherfucker. No, they have those rules at when, when you own. He's saying when he's mm. doing a little work. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, going to the improvs or. Oh, just, 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 just practicing his craft. Yeah, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, just, right, right. Like, Dave Chappelle still do that shit to this day. He, <laughs> I forgot who said it, but they said he got an app or some shit that he can just find the closest comedy theater and he'll call and say, Yeah, this is Dave. Well, I want to do thirty minutes. Well, you know something. Well, you know something about the Eddie Murphy thing. Real <laughs> He's talk. Dave. I don't mm-hmm. think Eddie Murphy, in my opinion, I don't think he literally has to hit that club circuit like you're saying. So how do you reason. work on his uh? The craft? same reason he did the same reason the same way he did it on Delirious and Raw. He didn't write that shit. That was Keenan Ivory Reigns. That was Paul. M- I thought that too. What but he, do, what but, he does but, but, is but, act but. it out. No, see, I thought that too. Keenan Ivory and Robert Townsend said, Robert Townsend. no, we did not write Raw. The reason why you see written by, they got credited for writing that intro with the, the, the kids and the kick them in the ding ding and all that. <laughs> they got credit for writing that. They said we never wrote his material. You heard me laugh, right? I mean, because I thought the same thing, too. Oh, kick them in the ding like ding. Paul that shit was Mooney, hilarious. Paul Mooney, he, he said it. I never wrote Richard Pryor jokes. I started writing for him on that TV show on NBC. Mm-hmm. But Legend just had it like Eddie had all these writers. But but to me, I still think that you give Eddie Murphy uh, a topic, he can run with it. He can run with I it. I just want to see it, Because the thing is, he can act. He kind of like Martin Lawrence. I think Martin Lawrence is a little better at it. But he can... Better at what? He, at the acting part? People. Oh. Imitating people. No, no, nah, Eddie. No, Mar- no Eddie. Mar- I give Eddie that. No, Eddie Mar- wraps that no, shit up, bro. No, no. Him and Jamie Foxx is like neck no, and neck, and Jamie Foxx no. is the coldest you know, that I ever you know, seen, bro. You know when I realized Martin Lawrence was probably the best at when that nigga literally imitated a crackhead on You So Crazy. 
he was like, they walk like this, and he had the hand out. He said, the mm-hmm. ass going. And I said, who the fuck can imitate? And this was back then. <laughs> Crackhead. I said, who the fuck? Okay, when you say imitate, you mean physically? This is just mimic somebody. Oh. You mean like become that? Become that. Like, like nah, I telling, think Eddie like, got that like shit if covered, joke, bro. If I'm telling a joke, I'm like, man, you ever seen a crackhead? And they be doing it. And he literally looked like hmm. a crackhead doing it. On that. that show I'm talking about with oh, Seinfeld, oh. he did a few impressions. Like no, he yeah, he, impre- just, he did an impression of Tracy Morgan, but, bro. But he when right. he was talking about but, Tracy Morgan and Bruce Lee and all that. That's, that, that's why I'm, I'm kind of wondering. But he did kind of do that. Like he like when, when he was did sitting at that comedy with the uh, makeup and stuff. But well, he no, was no, no, sitting no. at that table. Like a lot of Eddie. Okay, so me not being the fan and not riding mm-hmm. his dick. <laughs> me saying this right now. When he becomes a character, you cannot tell that he's Eddie Murphy anymore. Like he becomes that person. No, I'm, I'm that's true. Saying, when I'm he saying. was the barber and in, 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 in coming to America, like yeah. it took me for years to realize that damn, that's Eddie Murphy, and I knew he was playing. I knew he had played multiple characters in that shit, but I did not realize that that dude, that light skinned dude, that was a <laughs> Rocky Marciano. Oh, the white that guy. Was, yeah, yeah, the white. Yeah. I did not realize that was fucking like, Eddie yeah, Murphy. I bro. didn't mean it. It took me little, years yeah, to notice. I, little, that. Like, okay, I didn't know that was. What Eddie. I mean it like this. I mean like this. Like if somebody Maybe. came, if somebody came to Eddie Murphy and he's trying to, and they said, hey, it was. It's this podcast called Steezo Radio, and it's three dudes and mm-hmm. a lady over there, and they just talking about blah blah blah. He gonna imitate they everybody at the table. Like they probably sitting there like, yeah. and he get he gonna jump into yeah, yeah he gonna become Steezo to me right mm-hmm. without even hearing you. Like he'd probably be like, oh, I guess they, they, they were saying they weren't sure if you could do it. Oh, I guess they was probably like, and then mm-hmm. he'd just, go, he just like, jump. But that's what he did. Do. That's why I'm saying I what I'm saying. He's, that's he what he did. To, that's what he did at the table with Seinfeld. When he decided to mimic, when he instantly, they was having a conversation. He said, you know what? Tracy Morgan told me, blah, blah. They was just having a random ass conversation. Tracy Morgan talked. And he hit Tracy, Morgan, t- like he hit Tracy Morgan so official, yeah. bro. Like, he just came out of, yeah. out of his like, body like with I Tracy saw, Morgan. Like I period, point blank. He did that on, I want to say, what's the late night show? Shit. For his brother? No, when he did it for um, Tracy Morgan. I don't know if it was the same thing. He was like, he, he said, man, I went over, I went over Eddie Eddie House, he picks me. He fixed me some ballpark freaks. Y'all ain't never seen that. <laughs> uh-uh. Ballpark freaks. Right. Like, sounded, ballpark right. Yeah. like he sounded just like right. He sounded just like Tracy yeah. Morgan, stuff bro. Like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That and shit so, was funny, but he is good at that shit, though. He's yeah, he a chameleon. That's <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he is, bro. Him, if you give him, some I give him that topic. I mm. think he could just in his head. Just he just one of them dudes. I'm just gonna run with it. Now I'm gonna say this though, and this I'm not trying to hate on Eddie. I don't think this seventy million deal would be for a stand up. I think it's gonna be some shit where we get a stand up and some movies or some shit. I just don't think they will give him seventy million for one stand up. I think the what's the name is a Netflix joint. What? Dolomite, Dolomite joint. It is. It what is. Dolomite joint? He got a movie. He got a Dolomite. Dolomite. He, he, him, he's Wesley reenacting Snipes. Dolomite. Get the yeah, fuck Wesley out of here. Mike Epps. Hey, on the same flip side, you know, uh, Tom Hanks is about to do yeah, motherfucking Mr. Uh, Rogers. Mr. Rogers. That shit about to make him a mint, bro. He about to come the fuck up. He got the fucking whole... The whole spiel, bro. The yeah, whole... He Rogers? looked like this motherfucker, Mr. Rogers, Mr. Yeah. Rogers, bro. To just be in the crib changing his shit? To be, no, no. It's going to be more to it. It's going to be more to it. This is his real life. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Rogers' you know real life. I don't really know much. Who's about a priest? Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't I heard. Really yeah. Know much about yeah. Him. Mr. Rogers. Hey, Mr. Rogers. Even as a kid, he, he kind of was strange. <laughs> he was creepy. Even as a kid. Yes, my all, mama thought it was so all white born. folks like back then was creepy. I'm like, why my man come in just like? <laughs> Would how, you be mine? How he just changed his? Would you be on, mine? He put on sneakers and a sweater. To walk in the house. Right. You got to be like, comfortable, Like he put baby. on house shoes. You got to be comfortable. I'm like, and he changed his sweater. I'm like, the ball up on the motherfucker. He don't know. I was like, what are you wearing outside? You know, <laughs> had his loafers. Right, I didn't look there. I'm just like, he I came in the house. Yeah, yeah. Off his shoes to this put nigga had shoes. a train track in his house. Petty. What the fuck did Mr. Rogers do for a living? You know, I don't know. He read stories. I didn't go that far. Now that far, <laughs> I, I didn't saying, go. I was he just coming like, in the house from something. What the fuck did he? What the fuck did he do for a living? He had a nice ass train set. That shit ain't cheap. Mm-hmm. I was just like, why my man coming mm-hmm. in the house to put on I know, on I'm, shoes? Think, I'm overthinking, I know. I know. <laughs> I was like, and a sweater. Right. He took a jacket off, put on a sweater. Right. Took off, no, he actually took off his sweater to put on another sweater. Mm-hmm. Every fucking day. Because well, it's a, a half sweater. sweater yep. People do that? I guess he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, remember back in the day, they had the smoker jacket. <laughs> yeah, or some Hefner type shit. <laughs> they had the on some jacket. Stan Lee shit. Right. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I don't think the Netflix deal for Eddie is just gonna be for one. I just, I really can't believe they're gonna give like the whole Dave Chappelle thing when they said this for his stand up. He did like what two or three? You know, we for talking that 40 about million. we're talking about legends and shit. Like it's some legends that need to leave the shit alone. I'm gonna I give you an example. Nas. 
<laughs> this lost oh, tape don't shit. Bring that shit, up around <laughs> that shit is trash. First of all, I keep saying. Please don't bring shit that shit is DN. trash. Ola, bro. I keep saying. Like Dean said, it's lost tape. That shit should have stayed lost. I, said, I yeah. agree. <laughs> that agree. shit trash. Trash and Stein. God damn it. Yeah, that shit got People talked about it and people bought it. Made him relevant. And the dude, and I think if you look at, he had another interview where he was basically saying that he didn't want to put it out, but as he said, he, had, he know, had an obligation. He, no, he said, you know, but the crew told me, hey, you know, go and put it out, which is basically the label. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's like, this shit was old. You know what I mean? It was a reason why that it shit didn't, didn't get released. It didn't look like, you know, a whole bunch of shit. It, it, it wasn't a dope album, but again, like I said, I wasn't looking for a dope album. And this is the second Lost Tapes album. Now, and I thought the first, people liked the first one. I, I didn't first like the first one. one. I thought you would leave that shit alone after you the first I mean? one. You like, that's I, why I, when he came up with the part two, I was like, okay, well, maybe this should be better with the trash than part one. Crap. It was worse. But that's the, but that, but that's than the part <laughs> one. Like, the fuck what is you doing? But that's the thing. The songs wasn't completely finished. But And at the same time, I w- I'm, like I'm looking at this like, okay, yeah, y'all say Eddie's a legend. I, I agree with you. Eddie is funny as fuck in the past. But right now, it's like, do you do you prove it or do you leave the shit alone? Do you let your, your legacy speak for itself or do you come but, back and... But, but that's the whole, that's you know the whole what I'm saying? lies and lost tape. If Eddie come back, he ain't funny. What? He did. We, what, we going to be like this? Man, I knew he wasn't funny. <laughs> it ain't going to take shit from Eddie Murphy. He did. No, well, and like this shit didn't take shit from Nas to me. I don't think it's going to take nothing from it, but I think if Eddie Murphy comes back and bombs, it makes us say, okay, we got to find another king of stand-up. Because Eddie been holding that title since... The fucking eighties. The king of stand up. Yeah, like you when you, when you, when they when they talk to other uh, stand up comedians, they, they always, always give it to Eddie Murphy. They give it to Eddie and they give it to Richard Pryor. And Richard Pryor, right? So mm-hmm. it's like if he bombs, even them same stand up comedians gonna be like, okay, he used to be the king. Who now is the king of stand up? Or would that give? That's, would that's that pave the way for up. new comedians to say, okay, if that. Eddie ain't the man no more, who is? Now right. we got to find they us have a to new. Start looking around, right? Yeah. For a new one yeah. to say, okay, because if, if Eddie stand-up. don't do it, Dave is the man. Like Kevin Hart ain't as funny as Dave. Chappelle. It's gonna be between Dave and Kevin Hart, depending it, and on it's, how you. It's Dave all day, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. How you vote it's is Dave. between them two? Because you're gonna have those like the LeBron and Jordan thing. Mm-hmm. You gonna have those saying, "Well, Kevin Hart made this much money, but Dave did." You see what I'm saying? It's gonna be a debate. It was well, fucked right up. Now, is. No debate. So you saying Eddie Murphy not, gets? So you saying he's not submitted as the king? Who no, he submitted? Yes, he right now. No, no, but he submit and submit. See, no, see no, it ain't locked in like that, and that's what, Eddie Murphy is not it is because in. of no, his. No, I'm saying he is. So I'm, what does it matter? He but I'm saying, in. but if he come in and and, and bombs, it's, then it's if like, he's in the submit, he's in the submit. Nah, you well, only he's not in the submit then, right? Nah, exactly. No, 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 no. He's he's in the submit until he fuck up. Like you're like you're. <laughs> he wants you in stone. Once it's set in stone, no, no, no. Set in stone. You can still be in stone like right now. You know what I'm saying? Like yes, he's the greatest because he stopped. You see no, what I'm that, saying? That's what I'm asking. But if he comes back in stone right now, yes. But if he comes back and they like, damn, Eddie. <laughs> they liable to chat that stone exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> They're going to go back and rewrite history and say, hey, matter of fact, hey, let me get He was good point. until he did this. Feet out that uh, cement, bro. You, we, you only as good as your you last you did, bro. We, we, we put you in cement too fast. You are I'm only as good you, as your I, last, I, I, your last body of work. Period, point blank. Like, we talking about Nas right now. Nas got some great fucking albums, but right now that nigga's uh, trash. Right. And see, Nas got the fucking pass of... I told y'all these are lost tapes. That's why y'all never heard it. But, he, but if Nas went in studio to make like a new album, Still Matic Part Three, yeah. my, you know, right, and, and that shit, that, that shit flopped. Like, I, 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 yeah, if that shit that. flopped, right. yeah, and that's kind of what Eddie is on. Yeah, he's coming back into the stand up. He got he a lot of responsibility. Stand up ring, yeah. That's a that's that's a, a big that's a big fucking hat to fill, yeah. bro. A big you know hat, because he's not the same Eddie Murphy he used to be. He ain't that same dude that was out partying all the time and shit, got jokes about all the shit he joked about. He he didn't tell his childhood stories so and all that like, shit. So his new shit ain't stone. gonna be. So that's all I'm asking. It's not. It's not I, I feel stone. no. I feel like I feel like this. It is set in stone that he is one of the greatest of all times. No, but he could the fuck. I'm it's not okay, okay. If, if it's a stone thing, no. But it might be up in lights. Okay. All right? and them lights could yeah. be shut off at any time. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's a stone. I feel what you're saying. No, I'm saying if you were to ask all stand-up comedians, you know what I'm saying, who they felt, you know what I'm saying, well, who's the king of stand-up? All you hear is Eddie and Richard. 
Eddie and Richard. Eddie and Richard. You see what I'm saying? But I don't think nobody ever went back and said, you know, nah, Rich, we can't put Richard up there because he made moving. No, 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 no. What, what I'm saying is, my point. But is moving that, wasn't stand up. But right. I'm just saying, as far as no, moving, we're talking about no, the greatest of stand up. His actually last one wasn't really that funny. Who he had the great suit, Rich Bro. I mean, yeah, but he's, because he, he stopped cursing, but, but he still he gets it. Funny, but it, but he but saying. he still get the you know what I'm saying. That's what like, I'm saying. He he get it because he birthed the rest of them. You know what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm just saying. Hey, though. Murphy didn't birth the Kevin Hart's, the Dave Chappelle's. And you're not giving. You not. If he did. Look at how many other comedians you put into the side. Like you putting fucking. I know Robin Harris only had like one real no, good stand up. I'm just saying though. But of the greatest of all time, I don't think Eddie Murphy falls into that. No, like, I'm you don't like Eddie they Murphy. Hmm? I'm, I'm saying what they say. It's kind of like. The you comedians, know, like his right. his peers, your peers. Okay, yeah. what your peers say? That's yeah. all I'm saying. Like if other quarterbacks said that Tom Brady was Tom the man, Brady was then the fucking okay. right, So right. who who meaning meaningful comedian do you think if Eddie Murphy came back and bombed would actually say, hey, he he he's still the greatest? No, he fucked he's up. Not the great. He's fucked up. What think, meaningful comedian? Dave. No, you he really believe that? No, I think so. No, hell no, Dave. Dave, not Dave, not Dave ain't gonna knock Eddie. Def- you're definitely a Dave Chappelle fan. Dave ain't gonna knock Eddie. No, I don't think Kevin Hart to do it. Nope. I don't, I don't, I, nobody's I, gonna disrespect Eddie Murphy. I think the I only think motherfucker meaningful. that has the balls to say it, Cosby. and he may not be meaningful, Who? but he's up there, Cat Williams. Oh, that's because Cat Cat can knock everybody because yeah. he like right. he's but that's like why, secondary. But that's why it won't really count because so it's nobody, Cat so Williams. If no, don't, if don't nobody meaningful say it, then it don't happen. But, it ain't happen. But, the, right. but, but they'll say it in five years. Uh-huh. They'll say it in five years. Like you'll get some young brash comedian and be like, look. We I'm better than Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy shit sucked. <laughs> right. But nobody wanted to say it because then we'll get, go against the king and mm-hmm. it'll, it'll, it'll trend mm-hmm. and then they'll be like, mm-hmm. then, well, then, then, then you'll get the D.L. Hughley's. Well, yeah, Eddie wasn't all that good on that last one. And then we'll we be looking at him like, well, why you ain't say that shit when cool he came out? Because, why you five years later? But, that, but what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, if he came out and he bombed today, I don't think anybody meaningful would say it. And they, and well, I think you have somebody that say, he may have lost it, but nobody's going to say he's no longer the best stand-up comedian if they thought he was. I don't think Well, let me, let me say this. I think they wouldn't say it publicly. Because I don't think... I'm serious. Shit, I, don't, I guess that's all that count, though. Yeah, yeah. But, but, that, that, but that's what I'm saying. I don't think like they have enough balls to say it publicly. I don't think they would say it. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying right, they I bitches or they you. scary, no, I but I don't think they would say it publicly. No, I but I think they'll do some roundtable shit like this and be like... Oh, can you believe how bad Eddie was? You know what I'm saying? But It'd you know some shit like I think that. The, I think the ones that would say that are probably the ones that say, like he was just stating earlier, we're always all right. They probably right. already don't think he was the best. But even those already. who thought he was the best, because, I mean, think about it. Like, yes, I'm a huge Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy fan, but you don't see me taking up for Dave. You don't see me sitting up here telling y'all, you got to go see uh Holy man, like hell no! That this shit was, was I mean, garbage. Honestly, was was the second Dave Chappelle special funny? The Which one, one that came with the Netflix? Yeah, yeah. I thought well, it was I funny. think, it was I think they both funny. was funny. I mean, I not saying it was terrible, but yeah, I don't funny. think it was. It was. It wasn't. I think Eddie it was wasn't. Will it, was, bomb. it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> oh, hurry up, Dave Chappelle! Give me this good ass comedy. Netflix and do it. Let me check it out and. You don't think go- nah. I, I don't see. Think I, it was. Well, see, I, I rate. I rate comedy differently. I, I say if you if you can give me a joke. From that, that I keep with me, then I give you credit. That was a good ass special. You don't think Eddie Murphy can pull one out of his ass for you? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh well, that that's it. No, I'm saying I'm saying as far as a good ass special, I'm right. saying I'm, I'm saying any any comedian, you know, right? That's what I'm saying. From legendary to the so great. So Eddie to was to up. do one tomorrow. You don't think he pull one? Yeah. All right. So he got. No, your I boat. don't. No, no, I don't <laughs> think Eddie gonna gonna gonna, gonna suck. Uh, I, oh, I, oh, you I don't. don't. Think, oh, okay. I, I don't you. think Eddie gonna suck. I Cause I think he's uh like he don't seem like it, but he's a fucking workaholic. Like he know his legacy is comedy. You get what I'm saying? He kind of gets it, and he know like if he come back to do stand up, he come on man. He know like I can't fuck up. He know he has no room for error. Well, I will say, I will say, I think this would probably be the toughest thing. He would have to live up to Raw. He'd have to live up to yeah. the yeah. Because now I, those I really are classics. Believe, I really believe. That if he came out, he would be funnier than a Mike Epps last comedy joint. Yeah, I think that latest. Well, I, I don't think he'd top think it. If Mike not, be Epps the same is that thing. funny. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying he'd be that. Yeah, at best. This, I but, just watched you, that yesterday, still, so it's still fresh in my but mind. But you would still compare it to it ain't Eddie Murphy raw. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He I don't. Ghosts, so I really don't think. If so you notice that, a lot of comedians 
who are thirsty, when they broke, are funnier. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the rich Eddie right now, the Eddie that's been comfortable in his money and, you know what I'm saying, all that type of shit, I don't think he's going to be as funny as know, the ancient, delirious and raw ancient, Eddie. You got to remember when he Because that was how he made his bread and butter. No, no, when he did raw. He was rich. It's fuck. No, he was the fucking man. That's what I'm saying. He was at the height of his career when he right. did that shit. And he, and raw, like, I get into arguments, I think raw is funnier than delirious. Yeah, I I, I, I concur. So, but think, I concur. But think about that. So, I don't think that matters with him. Cause Eddie was the, I mean, this was, this was Eddie Murphy, this was like Beverly Hills Cop Eddie Murphy. You get so, what I'm saying? So this we're was, talking about we're talking about Eddie Murphy, right? So we said that whole, you know, you going, he going to a comedy comedy club and try to get on stage and mm-hmm. practice his craft. I think the videos off your phone would be funnier than a Netflix special. Like real talk, you are gonna see him in the raw because it's gonna be a hundred people in the room, opposed to thirty, forty thousand. You know what I'm but saying? No, it depends what he do a special. Like he can do a special at the same comedy club. You seen? He can do uh, what Dave did. Yeah. You seen Dave what, uh, did the Seinfeld second one. Did. Dave did that. Um, Netflix specials. He in a fucking comedy yeah. Club. That's what Dave. Dave was in his big ass auditorium and yeah, shit. The first the, one, for, and then the second, second one, one, he was yeah. on stage in a little bitty ass yeah. spot, and he was funnier, I believe, in the second one. See, I have a, I have a feeling about that. I think the reason why Kevin Hart is not funny no more. I was telling Sam Nicky this. It's because he does these big stadiums. It's something about stand up where it's more intimate when you got a smaller crowd. Yeah. When you got the you know the bar, Yeah, you real know, comedians yeah, operate better in a smaller crowd. Yeah, like but when you got this big ass stadium field and the shit is echoing and you know, like the laughs don't even seem real. You know what I'm saying? That Joe Coy shit was funny. <laughs> Joe Coy, I'm gonna have to check him out. Sleep out. <laughs> Joe Coy. Cool. I saw Aziz. His stand up was fucking funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Aziz. 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 Yeah. Aziz. 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 Yeah. Aziz. Aziz. Yeah. Aziz. Right. Yeah, his shit was funny. Yeah, he was funny. I was going to wrap that. Mike Epps shit was pretty funny, though. The, the latest one, where he where he got the great curl and shit, and he on stage with the suit on, it was pretty funny. That one yeah. was. That was funny because I don't te- technically like his stand up. You don't like, you don't like it, uh, stay, uh, Mike Epps stand up? Mm-mm. He He's one. not yeah. funny. Put him in the movie. Let him act silly. Yeah. Laugh off. Chris Tucker was like that too. Yep. Yeah, Chris, Chris Tucker, Tucker wasn't funny in stand up. Like his Netflix, them shits ain't funny. Nah, but if you catch him in the movie, he's fucking hilarious. Just say, man. He fell off. Yeah. That rush hour in shit in fucking Friday, yeah, that's classic for him, but that stand up is dead, bro. He's not a stand up comedian at all. Mm-hmm. Now, Cat but Williams, there, Cat Williams, who is ultimately a great stand up comedian. He just got too much bullshit going on in his life. People not honoring right now. Like I give, I if, if Cat Williams came out in 2020 with a new stand up, I think that shit would be fucking hilarious, and he would be on the top of his, his game again. Last one was good, huh? His yeah, his last one, one was hilarious. Was, was hilarious. That shit was funny. Yeah, he yeah, got he beat up by a kid funny. after that though. So no, like no, that no, shit no, fell no, off. This was, uh, before the he kid. fell off after the kid. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, this was in, uh, I think, yeah, he uh, did joke about getting beat up by yeah. a kid, did he? That's yeah. right. That shit, that shit was funny to me. Yeah, he stayed funny to me. I think Cat, I think Cat Williams is underrated when it comes to comedians. Yeah, that's because of him, though. Mm. But let's yeah, go ahead. We're going to wrap this that's up. Right. Thank y'all for tuning in again, man. Thank y'all on the live. Nicole Murphy's still Don't a Don't go whore. nowhere, but everybody else, we out. Steve's thought of the day. All right, y'all. I just want to holler at you and say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for steady rocking with us, man. We love it. Check out the website, www.steezoradio.com. Feel free to purchase yourself a Steezo Radio t-shirt. We love the support. And shout out to everybody listening over there on A&O Radio. We are working on the live shows. We have not given up. We are working on the live shows. Stay tuned. Um, I guess that's about it for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, send all your comments or whatever to us at Steezo Radio at Yahoo, Steezo Radio at Gmail. Hit us up on our Instagram page. Hit us up on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook. And if you want to join the Steezo Radio Facebook group, again, it's open to everybody. Come in, conversate, discuss, have fun, meet some new people. That's what we do. Get a lot of topics from that group. And we bring a lot of topics from the show to that group. So it's a whole lot of fun. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. Can't say it too often. Because without you... There will not be a Steezo Radio Podcast.